The meniscus is the crescent-shaped fibrocartilage attached to the articular surface of the tibia. The meniscus consists of medial and lateral parts. Its function is to avoid the direct friction between the tibia and the femoral articular surface, increase the stability of the joint, and buffer the vibration. It is because of the existence of the meniscus that we can freely perform various movements. Meniscus tear is one of the most common knee injuries. When a person flexes the knee while twisting the knee, a lot of compression and rotational stress is placed on the meniscus, resulting in a meniscus tear. This is common in sports such as football, basketball, tennis, etc. that require jumps and sudden changes of direction. In addition, more than 40% of older adults have meniscus tears of varying degrees due to physiological degeneration. Obese and overweight people are at higher risk. Symptoms of a meniscus tear include Knee pain when walking or exercising, which can be exacerbated by twisting or rotating activities. Swollen joints. Knee swelling can occur within 24 hours of an injury. The knee joint makes an abnormal sound when moving. Knee lock. It feels as if the knee joint is stuck and cannot perform flexion and extension movements, which is caused by the torn small bone fragment stuck in the joint gap. Treatment for a meniscus tear depends on the size and location of the tear. The outer one-third of the meniscus has a good blood supply. If the tear occurs here, it may heal on its own. The inner two-thirds of the meniscus has no blood supply and can only rely on synovial fluid for nutrition. Therefore, it lacks the self-repairability after injury and must be treated with surgery. So, how to prevent a meniscus tear? In general, a meniscus tear is difficult to prevent because it is usually the result of exercise or sport accident. However, there are some precautions that will reduce the risk, such as Keep your leg muscles strong. Strong leg muscles increase joint stability, which reduces the chance of joint injury. Warm up well before exercising. Avoid exercise fatigue. Fatigued muscles increase the risk of joint injury. Do not suddenly increase the intensity of the exercise, which should be gradual.